Hello everyone. Have you seen the sea turtles? No? Then come with me. I will take you to the sea turtles. Most of us have seen a tortoise in a zoo or a reptile park. However, not many would have seen its marine relative, the sea turtle. This is not surprising since these reptiles spend almost the entire life in the sea. There are seven species of marine or sea turtles in the world. Of them, five are found in Indian water, Indian coastal waters. They are the alluredly. The green sea turtle The hawk's bill The loggerhead And the leatherback Let's know more about them. They are all deadly. They are small as the sea turtle. Grows up to 18 cm long and weighs 35 to 40 kg. They are widely seen. All deadly are known for mass nestling. In India, it occurs in Odisha. This is green sea turtle. They are herbivorous. The green color is of their fat. The shells are off and brown in color. Grows up to 4 feet. Weights up to 420 pounds. Oxbill. This is shark's bill. Gets, gets the name from their unique beak like mouth. Killed for their beautiful shells. Grows up to 3 feet. Weights up to 150 pounds at maturity. This is long red. This is rarest of the Indian sea turtle. It is named because its huge head. Grows up to 110 cm and weight up to 190 kg. It is seen in Gulf of Mannar, frequently nest in Sri Lanka. This is Leatherback, largest of the bull sea turtle. Grow over 6 feet and weighs up to 800 kg. It's a champion diver. It can reach the depth of 4000 feet in search of food. They nest on undisturbed beaches in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Sea turtles live the entire life in the ocean. Am I right? But they have connection with the land. Do you know that? Yes. Mm. They come ashore to lay yes. Yes. eggs. In which month turtles come ashore to lay eggs? January to March. March and all your ridleys are known for mass nestling. All your ridleys are known for mass. mass nestling and that mass nestling is known as Aribada. That mass nestling is known as Aribada. During the night time they come ashore to lay eggs. The turtles, the turtles have flippers. 
and this flippers helps them to swim gracefully it it's very easy to swim in the water for turtles but what about on the land is it easy for turtle to move easily on land no it's very difficult why it's very difficult because turtles are huge turtles are huge and it has to hold the whole weight it's very difficult for turtles to move on the land the turtles scoops the sand and makes a cavity cavity means a small hole do you know the length of, length of that hole 100 no not 100 1 and 1 yes 45 cm is good and that 45 cm is equal to 1 and 1/2 feet so it digs a hole for 1 and 1/2 feet okay the turtle chooses a spot well away from the high tide line here it scoops out a nest cavity 45 cm deep into which it lays about 100 eggs each egg is in the shape and size of a table tennis ball after digging it it starts to lay the eggs one by one it lays the egg do you have any idea how many eggs do the turtles lay how many eggs any guess any idea 8 eggs 100 100 to yes 100 to 150 eggs at a time okay once all the eggs are laid the turtle fills in the cavity then it camouflages the nest by tossing sand on it using its flippers this is a sample egg of sea turtle okay uh, oops see the egg the egg has fallen down but there is no crack do you know why leathery it's a leathery shell the shell of the turtle's egg is leathery so it don't crack turtles finish laying their eggs what will the turtle do now will it leave it open will it leave the eggs open or will it hide the eggs what will the turtle do leave it open or hide the egg what will the turtle do hide the egg or leave it open hide it will hide okay so it will again fill this cavity fill this cavity with the sand and makes a dance it will it will it will involve in a dance this is to camouflage its eggs camouflage means hides so it camouflages its egg and it hurries back to the sea leaving the eggs under the sun to incubate that done it returns to the sea the eggs are left to incubate under the warmth of the sun in many places around the world local people follow the tracks of the turtles to its nest they collect the eggs for eating jackals domestic dogs and even pigs too dig up and eat the eggs by following the scent left by the turtle so after 40 to 45 days the tiny turtles breaks open that leathery shell and comes to the top of the sand those eggs that escape such people and predators hatch 45 to 60 days later the hatchlings slash open the leathery egg shell with the help of a tiny egg tooth This is like a razor blade at the tip of a hatchling's snout. When most of the eggs have hatched, the hatchlings push themselves upward through the sand and emerge on the surface of the beach.
from here they make a hurried dash to the sea many of these tiny hatchlings which weigh less than 20 grams each will not even reach the sea they will fall prey to crabs or birds even before they reach the water most of those that do make it into the water will also be eaten by many predators in the sea within the first few days of their lives in fact scientists estimate that only one in every 1000 hatchlings becomes an adult it is perhaps to ensure that enough hatchlings survive to keep the species going that Sea turtles lay so many eggs. Sea turtles are among the many wonderful creatures we share this planet with. They have survived natural dangers for millions of years. Sadly, human activities during the last few decades have put them in grave danger. There are many factors that threaten their survival. People hunt them for their meat or collect their eggs. Sometimes they accidentally trap in the nets of motor boats. Problems like pollution construction activities on nestling beaches and dumping of plastics into the ocean also hurt their survival only by systematically tackling these problems and removing these threats can we ensure that sea turtles will continue to exist in the years to come